so today we'll be talking about um, regular expressions which is a part of automata and computability so regular expressions are used to generate patterns of strings a regular expression is an algebraic formula whose value is a pattern consisting of a set of strings so this is like a formal definition the operators that are used in regular expressions are usually the union the concatenation and the clean closure clean closure is like a star it's a it's a star format the concatenation is just basic concatenate like if a string suppose a b that's concatenated a b and a star is a clean closure example and union is a plus b which is a or b union is basically or the or operation concatenation is basically the and operation and clean closure is basically the uh, it says that it that expression could appear zero or more times or multiple times for example if the string is one star that means it could have zero or more occurrences of one zero or multiple and infinite occurrences of one so let's look at this example the set of strings over zero one that is the input alphabet is zero and one that end in three consecutive ones so it should end in three consecutive ones which means in the beginning we don't care whatever strings come it could have zero one zero one zero one zero one and then one 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 or it could have zero 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 and then one 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 it could have many combinations so the resulting uh, regular expression for this will be zero or one star which means we could have zero or one multiple times it could have zero 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 or one 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 multiple times we could have, we don't care what happens in the beginning and but it should end at it should end with three consecutive ones no matter what so the first part is what it says is we could have zero or more occurrences of zero or one and we could have one uh, and it should end in one 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 in the end right so let's look at another example the set of strings over 0 and 1 that have at least one one so we don't care what ha what what we get in the beginning we don't care what we get in the end if it has one one then our criteria is fulfilled so it could have no zeros it could have no zero or ones it could it could just have one so let's just write the set the set would be it could have just one it could have zero 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 one it could have zero one zero one means it could have at least one one means it could have multi any number ones but the minimum number is of one is should be one right so this is this is a set that could have this is the set that we would get but it would never accept it would not not accept an empty string epsilon empty is basically epsilon epsilon uh, you uh, we know the epsilon symbol is e right so this one also it should accept everything that would have 0 1 0 1 and in the end it should have 1 1 1 last three uh, sim last three uh, input should be 1 1 1 and it should be consecutive and it should not accept it should not accept a string that would have maybe 0 1 0 1 0 1 because the, these last three ones are not consecutive hello everyone so right. today we're going to be talking about nfa which is non so it should not accept 0 1 0 1 0 1 because the last three symbols are not three consecutive ones right so let's go to the next example b that have exactly one b so we could have only one b we can't have uh, we can't we can't have b more than one or less than one so exactly one so we don't care how many number of a's we we encounter as long as we have one b our criteria is fulfilled so the next example the set of strings over zero and one that have one one as its substring so we don't care what what we get in the beginning we don't care what we get in the end as long as one one is in the middle and in as and, and is the substring then we uh, uh, accept this so what this basically means is that the set of strings that we could accept is one one because zero and zero or one is a star is is given clean closure which means that 
it could have zero or more occurrences it could have no occurrence of zero or one it could have many and multiple occurrences of zero or one same goes for this so we could have one one as a substring just one one on its own we could have zero one 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 as a sub uh, uh, accepted and we could have zero one one zero we could have zero zero one one zero one one we could have many occurrences as long as it's uh, uh, as long as zero, one one is in the sub is a substring, right? So if the alphabet input alphabet is A B C, the expressions A B whole star represents the language M epsilon because star means it could have zero or more occurrence. It could have no occurrence of A B or it could have multiple occurrence. Now since A and B are concatenated and are together. And the star is given on both of them in a whole bracket format. This means that A B has to come consecutively. A B A B A B A B A B A B. It could have multiple occurrences of A B, but it can't have A A A B B B. It has to have a B together because these are concatenated and then put inside this bracket. Right. The expression A or B, a whole star represents the words built only with A or only with B or epsilon. Means it could have many occurrences of a or many occurrences of b or it could have epsilon that means no occurrence of a or b the expression a or b plus represents the words built only with at least one a or one b means it could has to have at least one occurrence of a or at least one occurrence of b it can't so it's like z, this one is zero or more occurrences of a and a or b and this is like one or more occurrences of a or b the expression a star plus b star represents the set of strings with only as or with uh, only b's and epsilon is possible so it could have a only a or it could have only b's right it could have only a's this is like uh, not as this is a's it could have a set of strings with only a's or with only b's Right, so the next example is the expression AAA star star represents the words built with only A but with it which is div divisible by 3 means it will be it the set of strings that we would get is in multiples of 3. So we would have AAA or epsilon or because the, uh, there is a clean closure or we could have AAA AAA or we could have a a a a a a and another a a a so in multiples of three three to the six three three is a nine three four is a twelve it would go on right so let's look at some more examples the questions that you would get for regular expressions would be in this format the set of strings of zeros and ones that zeros and ones that contain exactly four ones that means it would have exactly four ones but they didn't say it has to be consecutive right so we have to ha have four ones no matter what but it does not have to be it does not matter if they're consecutive or not so that's why I placed zero we placed zero star in the beginning in the end and in the middle of every ones right so the set of strings of zeros and ones with at least two ones or exactly two zeros now there are two conditions that have to be met or because the clause here that's given is or so uh, we first let's uh, try to fulfill this exactly two zeros so you would have exactly two zeros because this is similar to the last one. We have exactly two zeros and we place one star in the middle, uh, in the beginning, in the middle and in the end. Right. Like because it was not mentioned that it, they have to be exactly two consecutive ones. It was just given exactly two zeros. So it could have uh, ones in the middle as well. So uh, let's fulfill the first condition. At least two ones. So it has to have at least two ones. So one has to be present. One has to be present and after that you could have multiple number of zeros or ones in between in the beginning in the middle and in the end so but one and one these two ones have to be present because it's it's given at least so you could have multiple number of ones later on but at least there should be the minimum number of ones should be two all right so the set of strings of zeros and ones that contain the substring one zero or substring zero one so we could we have we could place uh, one zero and we could place zero one and in the beginning and in the end we don't care what happens when we don't care what what we get in the beginning and the end we usually use this zero or one star as you have, as you have seen in all these examples zero or one star is always repeated whenever we don't care what we what what is the input in the beginning or in the end 
so this could also be represented in another format zero or one star let's write it down here zero or one sorry zero or one star is also equivalent to now let's find the symbol. so this is also equivalent sigma symbol star this is not complete so this this is also equivalent to zero or one whole star so you could also replace zero or one whole star with with sigma star so let's look at the last example the set of strings of zeros and ones whose number of zeros is divisible whose number of zeros is divisible by three now this could be written as in this format so it could we don't care what we get in the beginning we don't get how many ones we get in the end and but when, whenever we do get a zero it has to be in multiples of three so that's why outside of this we get the clean closure uh, and since it wasn't mentioned it would if uh, it, it should be uh, three consecutive if the if the number of zeros should be consecutive if the uh, if zero should should be placed consecutively since it was not mentioned we could write one star in the big in the middle in the beginning or in the end so we could also write one star here in the middle in the beginning in the middle and in the end right so this is that's about it for uh, regular regular expressions next we'll be looking into epsilon nfa and solving dfa and nfa from regular expressions after you've after you get all these regular expressions from a normal simple string question, it would be easier also to do the NFA and DFA uh, format for all these regular expressions. Right, so give a thumbs up.